God, like we were blown. This is the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's all praise to the Most High Name of His Only Begotten Son in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Abar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great minister, and teach me well. Peace and citation, hope for elect scattered abroad. In this video right here, you got a couple of Jakes that have visions of Jacob's trouble and ultimately the day of the Lord. Okay, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Okay, Judgment Day. Okay, so, you know, I try to, you know, do this video, you know, on, on the computer. I tried to go live. I tried to um, screen record and nothing worked out. So, you know, I'm not too tech savvy. So I figure I'll just go back to, to the phone. I could have did, you know, three, four videos in the time it took me to do all that, man. You know, so I'll, Lord, when I figure that out soon. But for right now, we're going to use what we got. And like I said, we're going to play this video. And I might upload this video separately just to the channel just so you can, you know, watch it, you know. But we're going to play this video and we're going to grab scriptures to touch on what they are talking about through the spirit. All right. Let's let it play. Like it was, and we were mad at the government for something. I don't know the government. I don't know if God's telling me that the government is behind all of this, or there's something wrong with the government, or something sooner or later is going to come that the government is going to try us. I don't know, but um, we were mad about the government, and so we decided to um, get angry and burn down buildings and protest. It was like bad. Like we were blown. Like it was horrible. We were like burning down buildings, uh, protesting horribly. The world was just going crazy. Just people all over the world were just acting, just going ludicrous. People just didn't have no conduct about themselves. It was, it was world madness. People was getting, you know, locked up. Uh, people was getting killed. You know, more than the race that's getting killed now. It's just terrible. I remember me and my friends being in trouble with the police and we were trying to fight them, and they were, and they were trying to arrest us. And in this time, it got so bad. I seen the the, the sky literally turn red, and literally turn red, and literally turn red. And, and at this time, the sky was red. You guys, like red. Like I know my hair is red, but it was red, red, red. And just I seen this the sky open up to a. To, to like a center hole in the clouds. It was a big hole. And appeared in that hole was a man that was full of glory. And behind him was horses and all these other different, you know, people and just, and he came down with a large force. The whole earth paid attention to this sound like this whistle was whistle blown was huge so you know I heard the whistle blown or whatever and everybody kind of stopped when they heard it a little bit and I looked for some I don't know if it was the Holy Spirit telling me to do this or what but I looked straight to my right as soon as I after I heard the whistle I looked to my right I guess I was looking for God to come or something but I looked straight to my right and when I looked to my right I seen God God was on a horse. He was in white. God was on a horse in white. Uh, he was coming out of the sky, heading my direction from the right. And I looked to the right at the same time. And behind him was horses and all these other different, you know, people and just. Um, he had people with him. There were like a lot of people with him. I saw my friends and I said, guys, we got to go now. Like, I was warning my guys, like, fam, that we have to go now that like we can't stay here like any longer because I knew that something was gonna something mad was gonna happen like you know what I feel like something bad is about to happen and then they were like no let's just move on doing what we're doing I was like okay but I still feel like something bad is about to happen and then all of a sudden there was these two drones that kind of flew over us me and my friends uh, but it just two drones flew over us. One was coming from the left and one was coming from the right. Um, yeah, so I saw that open up and I saw two fiery energy 
like opposite each other it's like you know what whatever you're doing you have to come out for whatever you're doing trust me i have seen this i know what is gonna happen next i know what is coming next you have to come out you have to repent you have to change and when they met they like collided with each other as soon as the two drones collided with each other they met at a certain point and boom fire started falling from the sky and then everyone actually knew that you know what there's no way around this one there's no way you can go if this thing comes down everyone gets swallowed straight away there's no two ways about it and so at this point everyone came out they were paying attention they were like i think they were like crying something you could see how oh, they were like they were perplexed and everything this is not no little bitty fire or like oh my gosh it's a little fire you know someone stepped on the cigarette or oh just you know the firefighters came to control it this fire was falling from the sky it was like it was not it couldn't be tamed like no one could stop this type of fire and i was looking at my friends and stuff and i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh um in the sky look a fire falling from down from the sky oh my gosh i was just in awe i was shocked so they smite me yeah they they hit me and i was like um smitten but this fire was just like completely different so you know i got scared or whatever and we were mad at the government for something i don't know the government all right man so there you go um is this this video came from the brother tawab ben yahawda 144 um beautiful um you know much edifying video you see because what they were there describing is all scriptural and as you watch this video scripture just come to mind i ain't gonna take too long on this i'm trying to i'm trying to knock it out you know in, in, in a good amount of time so bear with me but as i'm gonna play it back and i'm gonna grab scriptures and i'm gonna you know touch on these different points that they're talking about what i believe that they may be through the spirit okay so first of all for, first of all she starts off by saying and this we were mad at the government for something i don't know the government i don't know if god's telling me that the government is behind all of this or there's something wrong with the government or something sooner or later is going to come that the government is going to try us i don't know but and this is true because see what our people don't realize is we have enemies okay this system and this, is, this country that we're in here in america and this whole you know even all over the world this white supremacy you know has always been against us to try to destroy us you know and ultimately the scriptures talk about how Jacob's trouble is coming. All right, Jacob's trouble is going to be a time where this devil is going to be literally persecuting our people freely. Okay, killing our people freely. You know, and that's why you had you've been telling you to seek Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai before the Most High come, and this judgment comes upon Earth because it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. That's what all these mandates, all these requirements, all these uh, restrictions is leading up to. Man, ultimate, they want total control. Okay, a new world order. Okay, and this whole thing is setting these people up. For total destruction. Okay, you people that took that thing, that thing of Majang, hey man, people gonna start dropping dead. So that's why she said that, you know, people gonna be mad at the government, okay? Which is, um, you know, basically slight, uh, or another way of saying that they're gonna be mad at Esau, man, okay? Because that, that, that's the government, that's the ruling body over the whole world right now, all right? And you, this is already happening all over the, in all these other countries. They're protesting, they're rioting. OK, they're standing up against their governments for what the, the, the mandates, you know, the, the, the restrictions and so on. All this is going to continue. All this is going to uh, worsen. And this year, 2022 is going to be worse than 2021 was, man. OK. If you can receive it. Um, we were mad about the government. And so we decided to um, get angry and burn down buildings and protests it was like bad like we were blown like it was horrible we were like and she said it was horrible because that that, that that's exactly what was coming man okay a horrible time a time like never before okay and the lord has warned us about this this is uh the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 21 and i go through scripture all the time you know it's like you know i'm sure y'all 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 you all you already know what's up but through the spirit this is a heavy scripture it says for there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. The time we're coming into is going to be like no, like never before. Okay, you can think about World War One, World War Two, slavery, all that is going to be worse than all that. It's going to be complete, total slaughter, blood in the streets. And brothers have had dreams and visions about it that, um, that themselves. I've had dreams that it was just you know complete slaughter in the streets. It was blood, you know, on the pavement, man, you know. 
are coming into a time like never before. You know, these these Babylonians, you know, and their guns. Yeah, they you know, they're, they're going to lose it. It says, verse 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. You see, because what the Lord is doing is he's going to rise the spirit up in these jakes, man. Okay. Judah. It's going to start with, with uh, Judah. You see. Um, and at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, this is going to lead to Esau coming out with, with, with his military, you know, coming down with that great wrath. All right. So this is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse eight. Judah, art thou art who he whom thou brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Talking about, you know, the head tribe Judah, you so-called Negroes, American Negroes, you know, here oh, oh, over here on, in the, on the shores of America. OK, Jake going to lose it. You know, Jake going to freak out, man. Jake going to lose because Esau is going to try to. You know, this from the whole time this man been coming with this this thing, he been aiming for you, Jakes, man. Okay, starting with the head tribe of Judah. You know, but he said he wanted so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians to get it first. Okay, so they're there targeting us, and this is going to cause Jake to um you know lash out. You know, something's going to happen. Okay, which is going to cause Jake to you know completely lose it, man. Okay, and this is what's going to cause them to come down together with that great wrath. And they want this. They want total chaos. They want, they're, 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 they're itching for, you know, people to lose it and people to act crazy so they can that give them a reason to send in the Calvary. Okay. Verse 9, Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He crouched, he crouched as a lion, as an old lion who shall rouse him up. So he said he crouched down as a lion, as an old lion. An old lion is lazy. An old lion is in slumber. You know, it's not going to really move unless it really has to. Well, the Lord said that he's going to crouch down as a lion. He said, who shall rouse him up? So pretty much what Esau is trying to do, and they said it. It was I believe it was somebody in France said they're trying to piss off the unveed, okay, because they're trying to rouse the people up to act, to, to show out, okay, and, you know, start rioting, okay, and they're gonna be kill people gonna be killing each other. You know, they do you, you you heard in the video, man. Okay. It says, oh um, so you know, that's what she's talking about. That the people were rioting and they were going crazy. You know, there was uh um, um um you know chaos and pandemonium that's coming. Okay, it's called Jacob's Trouble. Like burning down buildings, uh protesting horribly. The world was just going crazy. There's people all over the world were just acting just Going ludicrous. People just didn't have no conduct about. And this is the you know total the, the total chaos and the total, um you know because Amer the, listen man if you don't if you haven't realized the American economy is about to collapse man, okay this place is about to be no more very soon and you people that took it for a joke took it for granted, it's going to be, um, you know to 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 your own detriment man, okay this is the book of Revelation chapter twelve verse twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. This man knows his time is short. So that's why he said that um, their patience is wearing thin. Biden said that because hey, ultimately they're about to come down with that great wrath, man. The devil is these so-called Edomites, man, or these so-called white people, man. Okay, that's in power. Okay, the ones that, you know, when you look at your dollar bill that, 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 that you Jake's killing each other for and stealing and the whole nine. Look who faces on that on that money, man. That 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 controls your life, whether you eat, drink, sleep, you know. And all and ultimately he wants to put it into a um physical uh sketching, okay, some technology that he wanna put inside your body and an implant, okay? Much up now in verse 17. And the dragon was wroth, mean angry with the woman, which is symbolic for Israel. The dragon is symbolic for um, Esau. You so-called white people, man. Okay. Uh, Biden and his uh, um, ministry. Okay. The New World Order, man. These global elites. Okay. The dragon being wroth with the woman. Because, what they're tired of us exposing them. They're tired of this work going out. And they know that, you know, if they don't get rid of us, then they're going to have to go in slavery to us. You know, which is Bible prophecy. It says, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of the Most High to the best of their ability, obviously, and have the testimony of Yahweh, of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which is the spirit of prophecy. Okay? So, so meaning that they're they, they going to come for, you know, everybody, but they're really going to be looking for the men of the Lord. Okay? You women that, that, that believe and you children that believe. 
All right. Themselves. It was, it was world madness. People was getting, you know, locked up. Uh, people was getting killed. You know, more than the race that's being killed now. It's just terrible. I remember me and my friends being in trouble with the police, and we were trying to fight them, and they were, and they were trying to arrest us. And in this time, they say he was trying, they were trying they to. So bad. It's lucky. They say they were still trying to uh, uh, arrest them. You see, so that's you being cast in the prisons. Okay, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 21, verse 8. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say unto, it's like it, and say, thus saith Yahweh, say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. This sword is symbolic for Esau. You know, this man is the most high sword. What did King David say, Lord, um, hide me from, from like, from, from, uh, uh, you know, I'll grab it. So like, yeah. But it says, um, it is furbished to make that it may glitter. Uh, should we then make mirth? It contempteth the rod of my son as every tree. This man is about to, you know, come down with a sword slot. He about to start slaying our people, man. This is what this is talking about. A sword is a weapon of destruction. Okay. If, if it is furbished that it may glitter, meaning they are perfecting their weapon. They are, they, they are perfecting, you know, their blessing, which is those weapons, man. Okay, they got bio weapons. They got you know um, um 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 microwave weapons. They got laser weapons. They got you know you name it, man. They they got a satellite out of space that can shoot a damn you know beam of laser down and disintegrate your whole you know existence, man. <laughs> okay, it says, and he have given it to be furbished that he it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it to into the hand of the slayer. Christ, who's the hand of the slayer? Hey man, this man is about to go slaying. You see, this, 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 hey, these these so called white people that you people love so much, you want to defend so much. They 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 are the wicked. They were created to be the wicked, and they're going to show their true colors, man. You know, as a devil, a deceiver, they deceived you to think that they loved you. They deceived you to think that it was all it was all it was all okay. That that that, that it's all love. That we're all equal. Let's let bygones be bygones. That was the past, but the, the whole time. They're, in their mind, they're saying if, if, if they act up, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna exterminate them. You see, this has been this guy's man's whole mo, you know, for a very long time. Verse twelve: Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. Who is the Lord's people? You Israelites, man. I thought it was very spiritual that these are all Israelites having these visions. Now you even got Edomites and other nations that have these visions too. But in this video in particular, it had Jake's. You know who, who who appear to be Jakes. You know, and and through the spirit, I believe that these are these all are Jakes from all across the world. You know, you hear the different accents. You see, the Lord is waking up people. Hey, the Lord is giving you dreams and visions. Hey, I woke up through dreams and visions, man. You know, the Lord, you know, was showing me visions of all hell breaking loose and chaos and just death and destruction. Okay, then I got a glimpse of spiritual power, and I was like, what the hell is going on? What is this? I was losing my mind. I you know I was losing sleep, man. You know, I was waking up in cold sweats. Okay, so I, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai, this is real. You see, this is real, man. You better wake up. If you if you can't see this by now, what's going on? A great death and destruction is coming. The Lord is nigh. Yahweh Shai is coming back. It says, verse 12, cry and howl, son of man, for this shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Who, so who is the Lord's people? The princes of Israel, man. Okay, it, the, the Israelites, man. It don't say the whole world. It says of Israel, terrorists by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon the thigh. And what did that guy say? He said he that, that that he had got smitten, man. All right. Now spiritual that he said that. Okay. I seen the 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 sky literally turn red and literally turn red and literally turn red. You see, you talking about the, the sky turning red. Here, here's that um. That King David, it says, um, Psalm chapter 64, verse, um, one, it says a, um, a, um, a, to, to the chief musician, a Psalm of David, hear my voice, O power, and my prayer preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. These people are plotting. Hey, they're getting ready to come down with it, man. You see, they mean business.
Our people don't know what's going on. You know, they think everything is a game. They think everything is a joke. You know, they in La La Land. But they about to get waking up with a, a hor horrific wake-up call, man. Okay? So King David said, hide me from the secret council of the wicked. Because what, they're having secret councils? You know, they, they, they are plotting. You know, they're coming together with, with, with their UN meetings. Okay? And they're preparing to come down with great wrath upon our people. Which is going to bring great death and destruction. Okay, which is Judgment Day, which is all Bible prophecy. Okay, now they're going into now about how the si how the sky is going to turn red, going into the, 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 the day of the Lord's judgment. Okay, you're gonna have signs in heaven. It says, um, so like you bear with me one second. Hmm. This is um, the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in the diverse places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Now, you see how that's, you know, pretty much, you know, thrown in there, too, with earthquakes, which we see in a lot of earthquakes in diverse places where there's a lot of people at famines. They're talking about, you know, there's all these articles coming out about shells being empty, man. Great starvation is coming. Okay, pestilences, which is diseases, okay, viruses, you name it, okay, all these different uh, variants, <laughs> okay. It said, um, and fearful sights, and it, oh yeah, and it's only gonna get worse, man. Okay, what well, you saw us putting out there, yeah. it's judgment, uh, man. It it's judgment, okay. I'm gonna bring that back so like I got cut, I do? got cut off. I was like, okay, direction from the right, and I looked to the right at the same time. Everybody kind of me and my friends being in. In protests, it was like bad. Like we were blown. Like it was horrible. We were like burning down buildings, uh, protesting horribly. The world was just going crazy. There's people all over the world were just acting, just going ludicrous. People just didn't have no conduct about themselves. It was, it was world madness. People was getting, you know, locked up. Uh, people was getting killed. You know, more than the race that's being killed now. It's just terrible. I remember me and my friends being in trouble with the police and we were trying to fight them and they were and they were trying to arrest us. And in this time, it got so bad, I seen the the, the sky literally turn red and literally turn red and literally turn red and And at this time the sky was red, you guys, like red. Like I know my hair is red, but it was red, red, red. And just <laughs> I've seen this discussion. Bring this Acts 2 back. Acts 2 chapter, um, almost like Acts, Acts chapter 2, verse 17. It says, and it shall come to pass in the last days, which we are, we are, we are in the last days, but this is going to be the ultimate last day. Say, if the most high, Yahweh Shem Shai, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And my servants and my handmaids, I will pour out my spirit. I will, it's like I will pour out. So I can, and on my servants and my handmaids, will I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. And I shall show, show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and and fire and vapor of smoke you see verse 20 and the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood the red skies before the great and notable day of the lord come this is what they're talking about this is what they have this is what these people are having visions about the great and notable day of the lord okay and it shall come to pass whosoever shall call upon the name of yahweh while yahweh shy okay which, which the word there is yahweh shy shall be saved okay that's the name not the, the name the name ain't the name of the lord listen the, na the, the name of the lord ain't the lord okay the name of the lord is yahweh shai okay oh look at this verse 22 ye men of israel hear these words so why did not say the whole world no he said ye men of israel okay yahweh shai of nazareth oh it's like hear these words yahweh shai of nazareth a man approved of the most high among you by miracles and wonders and signs 
which did which emote the most high did by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves also knew okay so our, our lord is coming i opened up to a to, a, to like a center hole in the clouds it was a big hole and appeared in that hole was a man that was full of glory and behind him was horses and all these other different you know people and just and he came down with a large force the whole earth paid attention to this sound like this whistle was whistle blown was huge so you know i heard the whistle blown or whatever and everybody kind of stopped when they heard it a little bit and i looked for some i don't know if it was the holy spirit telling me to do this or what but i looked straight to my right as soon as i after i heard the whistle i looked to my right i guess i was looking now she said a whistle you see that, that that whistle is really talking about the sound okay the sound of the trumpet okay it says psalm chapter 47 verse 5 power is gone up with a shout and yahweh bahashim yahweh with the sound of the trumpet okay there you go okay um it's so lucky there's more This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse, um, I'm going to start at verse 2. It says, um, I'm going to start, go start at verse 1. Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the, a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, which what we do, you know, we have to watch, you know, and, and you know, um, we have to report on these things. It says, if when the, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then who, whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet. You say she, she says she heard the sound of the trumpet. OK. It says, um, if the sword come and take him away, the, the, uh, his blood shall be upon his own head. Okay, he heard the sound of the trumpet and he took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. And ultimately the warning is hearing the prophets, man. Okay, the the, the, the amen. The main, you know, tr uh, a trumpet right, right now that you're going to be hearing is the prophets out there proclaiming aloud, telling you to repent, telling you to come back to the most high. That's you taking heed to the warning. And if you don't, you know, you are not going to you're not going to, 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 to be able to deliver your soul. Okay, the Lord's name is not going to, to, to deliver you, okay? Then it's going to be an actual uh, um, sounds in, in the heavens, you know, whenever that, when, you know, when, when the day of the Lord. It says, but if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, meaning you don't teach. If you ain't out of teaching, if you just ain't teaching, you just ain't doing the work. Hey, man, you are at risk of judgment. It says, and the people be not warned. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand, which is why we have to push his word, man. Okay, because if not, the Lord is going to do your blood is going to be on us. Okay, this is why, you know, if we if we if, if we don't do do the work, you know, the spirit of fear come upon us, then the Lord about to destroy us, you see. Because hey man, we hey, every 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 able body, every able mouth, if you know this word, you should be prophesying, you should be teaching, man. Okay. Doing something for 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 this ministry, all right. Verse seven, it says, uh, "So thou, um, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman upon the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt, at the word of my mouth, warn them from me." And this is what we doing, okay, with these videos. This is why, why, why we do these videos and these shows. This is a warning, man. Okay, and, the, and these these visions are a warning as well for God to come or something but I look straight to my right and when I look to my right I seen God God on a horse he was in white God was on a horse in white uh, he was coming out of the sky heading my direction it's Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 13 behold meaning look he shall come up as he shall come up as clouds and how the clouds come and they a hey, flying okay they're gonna come in those chariots those ships and his chariot shall be as a whirlwind. The, what you call those UFOs? Those ships are going to come. Okay, there's going to be a day where 
the earth is going to stop. OK, and everybody's going to stop in their tracks and everybody's going to, you know, have to acknowledge the Lord when he make his second coming. And with that is going to come great death and destruction, but also great mercy and salvation. OK, for, for the righteous, the great death and destruction for the wicked. OK, it says, and his chariot shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Now, that's not going to be this is symbolic. OK, so people may see a vision of the Lord with, on horses. That the horses is symbolic for his chariots, okay? Those UFOs. It says they're swifter than eagles because obviously horses don't fly, okay? It says, woe unto us for who, for we are spoiled, you see? You, you, you jakes that don't get right, it's going to be woe and destruction unto you, man. Woe, destruction, and misery, okay? Because you ain't seek the most high, you know? You are spoiled. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from, from wickedness, meaning your mind. That thou mayest be saved. That's the whole point. That's the whole, the the the, the, the whole um you know the whole program, man, is to be saved, salvation. Okay. It says, How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? The thoughts of what this world, the thoughts of a career, the thoughts of a damn, uh, 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 you know, a, 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 a happy life here in America. You can forget about it, man. The Lord said, This place is not our rest. Get ready for um, redemption. Get ready for salvation. You know, be you know. The whole point is to get the hell up out of here, man. Okay. You see? So they seen the cherries, you know, they seen a lot in, in, in these in, in these visions, man. Okay. Showing you that the time is, is getting closer and closer and closer, man. Every day, every second, we're getting closer to seeing the Lord come. And how is he coming? You think the Lord's coming with uh, hugs and kisses? Let's find out. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord... Yahweh Shai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger, what? No love, his anger with fury and with his rebuke with flames of fire. Because when the Lord comes, those missiles are going to get shut off too. You see, the Lord's going to come and his chariots are going to be literally on fire, shooting fire. But he's also going to have simultaneously those missiles shot off and this place is going to be completely consumed. America in particular is going to be completely devoured by thermonuclear fire. That's that, that's your lake of fire in the scriptures, man. In case you didn't know, that lake of fire that they talk about in the Christian church is going to be America engulfed in thermonuclear fire. You heard it talking about the fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord, Yahweh, plead with all flesh through his son, Yahweh Shai. And the slain of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall be many. Many people are about to be destroyed. Many people are about to be slain and put to death, smitten. From the right. And I look to the right at the same time. And behind him was horses and all these other different, you know, people and just. Um, he had people with him. There were like a lot of people with him. I saw my friends. And I said, guys, we got to go now. Like, I was warning my guys, like. Now, she said that he, he had a lot of people with him. And those people were the angels, okay? And, you know, our brethren that died on this side being raised back up, okay? You know, coming back with the Lord, all right? This is um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. You, hear, you see the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is going to send his son, Yahweh Shai. He's going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. So the ones who died in this truth, all right, teaching this truth, believing in this truth, knowing the true names, worshiping and praying in the true names, they're going to rise first. Okay? They're going to be, you know, the first ones to come back with, with, with our, our, our Lord, man. Okay? The first ones to be changed. Okay? Then comes the the, 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 the rest of the elect that's going to be on the earth. It says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet them, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. You see? So the elect... It's going to meet the Lord in the air. He's going to, they're, they're going to go up into those ships, okay, and be at peace with the Lord, man. Let me grab this real quick just because I touched on that, okay. And like I said, I don't want to make this too long through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Um, I just want to touch on some key points and uh, as we go through, go through this video. It says, um, Isaiah chapter 
uh, 26, verse 19, thy dead men shall live together with my dead body. Shall they arise? You see, you're going to have people rising from, 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 from the dead, man. The Lord going to raise up okay, people from the dead. Just like when he, when he left or, 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 or it's like when he was risen uh, from, 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 from the dead on the earth. Okay. You got people, you know, coming out of their graves. Okay. Awake and sing ye that the well and dust. For the, thy dew is in the dew of herbs, and the earth shall be cast out the dead. It's like it's like it, ooh, con. For the dew, thy dew is, is, is as a dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Okay, so meaning, hey, it's going to be it. <laughs> you know, they're going to cast out for, for, for judgment, man. It says, this is the day of the Lord, okay? It says, verse 20, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. What's those chambers? Talking about the chariots. I mean, you're going to get beamed up into those ships and shut the doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation, which means righteous anger. Didn't it say the Lord was angry? Be overpassed. The Lord's about to destroy this place, man. And, and he's going to save uh, 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 an elect, a remnant of Israel. And he's going to hide them in those chambers, in those ships. Okay. As he destroy America and the rest of this, you know, wicked society, man. Verse 21, because after America goes down, everything's going down, man. Okay, and then we're going to, the um, Lord said he's going to make us hunters. He's going to send us out to, you know, put put these nations in, in order and subjection. And even you, Jakes, that don't want to go to the program or, or that's, around, that's around the world. Hey, the Lord say, he that would not ha um, have me reign over him, bring him hither and slay him before me. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so it's going to be on. Verse 21, for behold, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. And the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. People are going to be dead, laying all in the streets. Okay, and that's going to be the first job of these wicked elites. That's going to be the fruits, of, the first fruits of slavery is you're going to have to bury all these dead bodies, man. Okay, pick up all these dead bodies. Okay, because it's going to be people, it's going to be bodies laying everywhere, man. That's how bad and, and horrific it's going to be. How, how how dreadful that day is going to be. That we have to go now, like we can't stay here like any longer because I knew that something was going to, something mad was going to happen. Like, you know what, I feel like something bad is about to happen. And then they were like, no, let's just move on doing what we're doing. I was like, okay, but I still feel like something bad is about to you happen. See? And he says something bad is about to happen. So in Jake's spirit, they know, you know, in everybody's spirit, everybody, everybody can feel that something is coming. Okay. And it's what we've been prophesying about to you all this time. We've been telling you, hey, it's about to get real. It's about to get real. People thought it was a joke. People thought it was a game. And now you're starting to see it. It's the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. Okay. What, 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 what that man said? Let me bring it back. I think I can. Hold on. And all of a sudden, I was warning my guys, like, fam, that like, we have to go now. Like, we can't stay here, like, any longer because I knew that something was going to, something mad was going to happen. Like, you mm. know what? I feel like something bad is about to happen. And then they were like, no, let's just move on. And you don't listen to your friends, man. If friends are saying that, man, hey, they ain't in the right spirit. It says, and there shall be a time of trouble such as was never since there was a nation. Even to that same time, and everybody feeling their spirit, man. Everybody knows something is coming. You just don't know what. What through the spirit of your heart, Bashim Yahweh, we've been telling you it's coming, man. We've been proclaiming you through the scriptures, telling you this is all prophecy. This is all happening for a reason. Okay, this is not by coincidence. It's just not just going to blow over. This is the end of a nation. This is the end of a rulership. This is the end of an era. Okay, the end of a kingdom. Okay, and the new kingdom is going to rise from the ashes. It says. And at that, uh, it's like, yeah, um, such as I'm bringing back and there shall be a time of trouble such as there was such as never was since there was a nation. So the worst time ever again, you hear about it, but about this again, even to that same time at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. OK, and, it, and this is what we brought. We was going into earlier. Verse two, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Doing what we're doing. 
I was like, okay, but I still feel like something bad is about to happen. And then all of a sudden, there was these two drones that kind of flew over us, me and my friends. Uh, but it just, two drones flew over us. One was coming from the left and one was coming from the right. Um, yeah, so I saw that open up and I saw two fiery energy like opposite each other. It's like, you know what, whatever you're doing, you have to come up for whatever you do. Like opposite each other. It's like, you know what, what... And you know, and, and, and I believe through the spirit, I was, I was talking about the war in heaven. You know, she said she had, she saw two drones um, crash into each other. He said he saw two opposite um, fires going against each other, you know, which is spiritual speaking about, you know, that war in heaven. So I'm going to get that real quick. You see, because, um, you know, Esau um, will, 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 will play that game like he don't know what's going on, you know. But we know, man, this is why he, he he's creating the um it's why he's creating a, a, a um a space force. Okay. He has he has all these um um UFO task force. Cause he know that his that his judgment is coming, man. Um I'm gonna grab this right here. This is second Ezra chapter thirteen, verse three. And I beheld, looked, and lo that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. When when she said they said that it was a man and he had a bunch of people with him. The thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. You see, so listen, man, I'm going to say something too, man. All these scriptures are supposed, it's supposed to make sense. Okay, if, you, if it ain't making sense, then it's not the Bible contradicting itself. It's, it's your understanding that's contradicting, man. Okay, you need, you, need, you need to get more understanding. Okay, it's all supposed to make sense. Okay, so if you when you, when you really get a full understanding of these scriptures, you're going to understand the full story of what the hell is actually going on. Okay, and then we're going to actually see it physically. Okay, verse four. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. Fuck yeah. The yawn's coming in. <laughs> as uh, uh, like as the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. So all they yawn, all, all they burned that heard his voice, that's spiritual for your Lord being in them ships, being, being in that ship and people getting, people getting hit and zapped. With those um, with those um, beams from those from those chariots, man. Okay, that uh, concentrated fire. Okay, it's going to beam people, man. And, and you know that's, you know, a, and that, through, through, through that through that beam, that's how the um, you know, the Lord um, through the Spirit wrote on the um stones that that Moses had the the, uh, the, the um those tablets. Okay, so the, so that that with that same technology, it's going to beam and um devour these people. A lot of people dead be because of that too, you see. And that's why they showed you that in that movie, um, War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. People was getting disintegrated, turning into ash and salt, you know, from from that fire. It says, and whoso when whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard the voice that heard his voice, like as the fire as the earth faileth when it filleth the fire, and after this. Be, I beheld, I looked, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. The sea meaning out of the, the outer atmosphere, you know, or what they say is space. Okay, and, and this these men gathered are the nations, the multiple nations trying to gather together. They're going to try to fight, you know, against the Lord. You know, you had that guy, I believe it was Ronald Reagan that spoke, spoke about that. How, oh, how, um, he thinks if they, there was a day where they had a, a um, out of a, a, um, a visitor from, from pretty much a visitor from outer space, how their differences will, 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 will all be so common and how they, they would have to band together to fight against, pretty much talking about fighting against the Lord. And that's why they have these space forces and these um, different al al alliances and allegiance and stuff. Because Esau is telling these other nations, yo, help us fight the Lord so that we can stay in power. You know, and, the, and the, you know, you know, they as being a subject to this man, you know, and, and his rules and his, and his plans, they have to, you see. So the Lord's going to raise, you know, cause these people to fight. And it's going to lead to what it says. But I beheld and lo. He had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. 
meaning a great ship, a great chariot. It was so big, it was like the size of a mountain. Like, you know how you see a mountain? You can't see the, you know, you can't see the ends of a mountain, man. And it was that big. That's how big this ship is going to be. And it showed you that in the movie Independence Day. Okay, go watch these movies, man. And flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where we're out. The hill was graven. I could not. I mean, it was so big, you couldn't even tell where it began and where it ended, man. And after this, and it showed you, like I said, they showed you that in the movie Independence Day. And after this, I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid and yet durst fight. And they showed you that, um, you know, they had a video come out with NASA where they cut the feed or it was like out of space. And they showed in multiple videos coming out where they're showing you, you uh, ships out there, man. Ships, chariots, what they call UFOs, literally nine times three times you know ten times the size of the earth you see the lord has something that you people can't even put you know you know begin to wrap your mind around all right it says that and after this i beheld and lo all they that were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid so they're gonna see the lord coming with this great glory and they're gonna be terrified terrified it said and yet durst fight lord gonna put a spirit on them to still fight man it was an account about how um it was a fighter jet over there in Iraq or something, whatever, and they were you know they they had they had they had an encounter with some 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 some, some chariots, what they call UFOs, and they said how, um, they, they he was they they were, he was charging at the the, the uh, chariot and then it started going in and out, uh, invisible invisible, doing stuff you know and then, he said he tried to turn around and he couldn't turn the ship around, you know the 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 the, the, the chariot had took control of the commanding. So I can the commanding station of of, 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 of of his um his fighter jet or whatever and 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 they couldn't they couldn't you know they they couldn't control it you see they were trying to shoot you know their um weapons and they couldn't shoot their weapons okay so the Lord's going to have to put the spirit on these people that they don't matter you know though they want to run away and and and, and flee he's gonna put the spirit on them to you no know, come over here and fight come get some and this is what he's gonna do and lo as I, he saw. Uh, uh, it's like and, and lo as he saw the vo the violence of the multitude that came he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war but only i saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire meaning that ship is going to send out that that um that, that concentrated fire that you know those um beams you know that um that uh you know that uh those, those those lasers man it says and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests okay so he's not literally talking about out of his mouth he's talking about out of that 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 ship and they showed you that in the movie independence day where that ship went over the white house and it completely devoured or consumed the white house with that fire all right whatever you're doing you have to it says, um, for whatever you're doing, trust me. Let me go back. Okay. For something. I don't know. The government, I don't know. Like, okay, but I still feel like. It says, um, verse 11, and they were all mixed together with the blast of fire and flaming breath and the great tempest, meaning that's, you know, fire on fire on fire. It says, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. And burned them up, every one. So this fire went out and burned all the people that came up to fight against the Lord. It burned them up. You see? Effortless. So that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude was nothing to be perceived. So you saw all these ships, all these fighters. Just, they showed you that in the movie Independence Day once again. Okay? They showed you all these ships going against these chariots. And they, in, 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 a, in a blink of an eye, that, you know, the, the Lord is saying how in the blink of the Ezra is seeing how in the blink of an eye, that beam is going to go out and it's going to pretty much disintegrate all these um, vessels, all these um, multitudes that are going to come and try to fight against the Lord, you know, and they're going to come out with thousands and thousands of ships, man. You see, it says, but only the only dust and the smell of and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. So you said nothing was perceived, but um, for, for that that innumerable multitude, you couldn't even count them. Nothing, no, nothing was to be perceived after that. They, after that, that beam went out. Only dust and smell of smoke. And Ezra said, 
And when I saw, I, I was afraid. That's power. That's power. You got people that's going to think, oh, no, uh, our government's going to fight. You, know, you got these, these uh, Sambo-ass jakes that think that, you know, America's for them. They, they, they think that if something was to happen, Esau going to go fight and protect them so they can stay asleep because all people are lost. All right. And then they're going to what be, you know, you're going to see that it's not going to prevail. You know, the Lord's going to come and jack you them wicked niggas up and you wicked heathens, man. Um, after what I saw, okay, after I saw I, the same man come down from the mountain and call unto him another peaceable multitude, which is the elect. And there came a much people unto him, whereof some were glad, some were sorry, and some of them were bound. And uh, and other some brought uh, uh, of them that were uh, offered. Then was I sick through great fear, and uh, and uh, I awaked and said, "It's like, um." So that's it on that. But that's pretty much talking about how when you know after the Lord, you know, reign, he going, you know, the multitude, the multitude, the multitude gonna come, the the, the, the remnant, then they're gonna, you know, you know, the, the, you know, they're gonna pit, they're gonna get put in place. You know, get put, it's gonna get put. It's gonna get put in check, okay. And it says, and offer some brought, and other some brought of them that were offered, meaning slaves, man, okay. Some and that's gonna be you, um, these these ruling elites, you know. Your your uh, your uh, Dupons and your Gettys, your your Rothschilds, your Rockefellers. Okay, and even your Bill Gateses and even your damn Trumps, man, because they're gonna try to they they gonna have a bunker to go into too, you see. Something bad is about to happen, and then all of a sudden, there was these two drones that kind of flew over us, me and my friends. Uh, but it just two drones flew over us. One was coming from the left, and one was coming from the right. Um, yeah, so I saw that open up, and I saw two fiery energy like opposite each other it's like you know what whatever you're doing you have to come up for whatever you're doing trust me i have seen this i know what is gonna happen next i know what is coming next you have to come out you have to repent you have to change and when they met they like collided you have to hey. come out you have to repent you have to happen next i know what is coming next you have to come out you have to repent you have to change and that's the truth man this is why we proclaim this to you because we you, you jakes that don't believe man you you all gonna become believers very soon. All right, everybody's gonna become a believer when that day come, man. All right, this is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. That whosoever of, of the have nation of Israel would not seek the power, Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai, power of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So if you ain't in the right spirit, if you ain't seeking the Lord in truth and sincerity, you 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 are about to die. Okay, point blank and period. And when they met, they like collided with each other. As soon as the two drones collided with each other, they met at a certain point and boom, fire started falling from the sky. And then fire everyone actually knew that, you know what? There's no way around this one. There's no way you can go. If this thing comes down, everyone gets swallowed straight away. You see, <laughs> look at this, man. You said fire came down. Let's bring it back. There's no two ways about comes down every no fire started falling they met at a certain point and boom fire started falling from the sky and then everyone actually knew that you know what there's no way around this one there's no way you can go if this thing comes down everyone gets swallowed straight away and that's that's what's coming man it says second peter chapter, chapter three i ain't gonna make it too much longer man so lock yeah I, I, you know i, I figured it was gonna be a little longer but hey it says Second Peter chapter three verse eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. You know, all this hud has been on the earth. You know, it's been a couple of days for the Lord, but to us, it's been thousands and thousands of years. So the Lord, so so it's still fresh on His mind. So this wrath He coming with is gonna be like a you know a, a, a fresh ass whooping, man. It says the Lord is not slack concerning His promise. As some men count slackness, the Lord said he coming, he coming, man. And you got people that's losing faith, that don't believe, that's getting weary, that's, you know, uh, turning their back on the plow. You niggas are going to be destroyed, man. The Lord is going to devour and consume you niggas. Hey, 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 what this man said? You can go. There's no way you can go. That, you know what? 
there's no way around this one there's no way you can go that's it he knew that you know what there's no way around this one there's no way you can go that's it Everyone actually knew that you know what everyone there's actually no knew. way around this one there's no way you can go it's over if this thing comes down everyone gets swallowed straight away there's no two ways about it and so at this point everyone swallowed straight away there's no two ways about it and it's so that straight way man that, 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 that uh that um you know that straight path man you see, if you ain't on the right path, man, then then, then you're going to be destroyed. Okay, there's no your way, this way, that way. It's the most highest way or the highway, you see? The most highest way or the nuclear missile way, man. Okay? It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance of Israel, because only Israel can, can repent. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night when people least expect it. And the wish to heaven shall pass away with great noise and the elements shall melt with fervor and heat. Remember, they're talking about the trumpets. That's that great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervor and heat, man. Meaning she said that fire came down, right? Point. Everyone came out. They were paying attention. They were like, I think they were like crying something. You could see how they were like, they were perplexed and everything. This is not no little bitty fire or like oh my gosh it's a little fire you know someone stepped on the cigarette or oh just you know the firefighters came to control it this fire was falling from the sky it was like it was not it couldn't be tamed like no one could stop this type of fire and i was looking at my friends and stuff and i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh um the sky look this fire falling from down from the sky oh my gosh i was just in awe i was shocked so it was fire in the sky man it was fire in the sky, okay, falling from the sky, okay, and it couldn't be stopped. This ain't no ordinary fire. They smacked me, yeah. They they hit me and I was like um, smitten, yeah. They they hit me and I was like um. It says, um, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. The elements shall melt with fervor and heat. All that, all, all that fire in the sky was the elements, man. And what's made out of elements? People, bodies, okay? Flesh, cars, plants, animals, um, you know, everything, okay? You name it. It says, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up, okay? Now, the, the um, you know, the, the word font changes here. It says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? What spirit should you be in, man? Okay, should you be out here lollygagging and, and uh, um, paddly wagging, or should you be in the spirit of seeking the most high and truth and sincerity and getting on your thing, hey, amen, getting on it, doing his work? Okay, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. What does mean, dissolved mean? I mean, if you, if you put a, a, a ice cube in and, and a cup of water after a couple of hours, you know, you, you can't see the ice cube anymore. That's going to be the heavens, man. And then it's going to open up. It says. And the element shall melt with fervor and heat. Nevertheless, we we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens, a new kingdom and a new earth, a new rulership and a new uh, and a new kingdom. Where we're in the wealth righteousness, where it's going to be um, where we're going to be able to keep the laws perfectly. Where it's going to be righteous, you know, it's not going to be all this um, wickedness and unjust um, dealings and shit, man. Okay. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found in him in peace without spot and blameless, man. So I'm going to end it off on that. You know, be diligent that you may be found in the Lord in peace without spot and blameless, man. All hell is about to break loose. Take your hawbash from your shy. Smitten. But this fire was just like completely different. Smitten. But this fire was just like completely different. And this fire was like completely different. The fire that's coming to the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord says, shall come with fire. So think that I, that I come to send peace on the earth. It's going to be completely different, man. You know, people are not ready for what's coming. Okay, keep thinking this week, keep thinking it's a game. The Lord's going to show you otherwise. With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwam, Nishrallah. I pray that's what's edifying to the hopeful elect. To all you, how about you give me spirit through this lesson? Amen. On to the next one. Amen. Shalom, shalom, kwam, and shalom. Amen. Our Lord is nigh. 
our salvation and our redemption is nigh. Stay in the spirit, seeking your help by Shemyal Shai. Shalom. Kwame Shurala, Ababa Ball.